So today I thought I'd do a video that I did one year ago and kind of just refresh on the topics I touched up on the last video I posted as well, um, which is basically making your homes look a little bit better, but also diving deep into the world of interior design. So one year ago, I did this video of where I went to Pinterest and I found a random living room and I kind of recreated that living room. The link to the video will be somewhere around here. You can probably find it in the description or there should be a little button icon that shows up on the side of the screen. You can click and just go ahead and head over to that video where you can kind of just see everything I did to kind of outline this room right here to make a nice little living space area room you kind of just tell i kind of touched up over there and just did nothing over here what are we going to do in today's video well i kind of had some inspiration late at night i have to pay my bills um so i had inspiration late at night to make a nice little rustic type log cabin living room Okay, so what we're gonna do today is we're actually going to kind of just go over what you can do in Pinterest. So over here, we gotta have some houses over here that you can see in Pinterest, so you can get like nice house designs that you can build in Bloxburg. Um, don't mind all of this, but um, you can find like nice cool designs, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of go for a log cabin living room. Um, I can spell correctly, so log cabin living room. We're kind of just going to look at different color schemes. So it's a lot of brown tones with white. So it's going to be a lot of like, okay, so this is kind of what I want to go for, for a log cabin living room. So it's a rustic living room kind of thing. You can see those couches right there. So obviously you go to Pinterest, you find stuff that you really like. Um, if you have like a design for the outside, you can do like modern outside. If you want to do it for like a rustic feeling on the inside, you can do like rustic types of furnitures, types of rooms. So this is obviously a um, living room area that I want to do. So obviously right here, this is um nice log cabin typed stuff um but i want to go through this kind of color scheme right here with those whites browns and just whites and brown mid-tones kind of thing now what usually i normally don't do is i just kind of start off with one room usually when i do this there's obviously going to be walls that you have built up that I clearly don't have. So basically you'll probably just have like a nice little structure for a home, kind of something like this, but we're not gonna start with that. We're gonna just basically go for an interior design kind of thing. So first things first, I wanna put down the carpet because um, the carpet is gonna be everything that we have in here. Um, I can place the carpet right here. Let's make the carpet a little bit bigger, obviously. So when you're going off a design that you wanna go for, um, just make sure that you keep the colors the same. Actually, coloring is very, very hard. That's why I went to Pinterest to kind of find a nice little thing that we could do for this. So obviously the carpet, we get a nice little floor area. If we build um, a fireplace, we can get a fireplace down here. Now I want one that will look nice. Like this one looks nice, but I just don't like that. Um, we have the victors kind of thing but that doesn't fit with this house um it's pretty much this one would fit kind of and this one fits the most with what that one really is so we kind of have a nice little floor area right here which leaves room for a window on the side we build that with a factory window because that looks like it's a factory window so we do windows we do factory window right here so obviously when you're designing homes, it's going to be kind of tough to kind of come up with what you are looking for or what you're like, you know, getting. So let's see. <laughs> we go in here to storage. So obviously you're basically going to take that picture and kind of just copy and paste it into here and you'll create different types of layouts. And obviously you can go a different route with what you want and not just completely go off of what a picture is telling you to go off of. I think maybe it will look better if I just put that there instead of having that extra space. Because then we can just put... that there. 
and basic shapes. So obviously basic shapes are going to need um, transform plus. Um, obviously not transform plus. You're going to need advanced placing. If you don't have advanced placing, that's cool. That, that's fine. Um, it's not going to be all about advanced placing. Yeah, that makes that obviously look a little bit more better than what it was before. And then we can just place a window right here. Obviously, there's like a small fireplace we see there, but we don't need to have that. And there's a nice little um, paintings. So obviously, you can definitely see exactly what I'm going for with this. So I'm going to decorate this entire room. I'm going to put this all together and I'm going to show you exactly how we can take this image and turn it into something amazing.
obviously you can tell the different decorations go very 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 long way obviously we have this nice little room right here now obviously what we also can do is when we're finished with the room um we can go ahead and just put the paintings down with what they are and obviously i didn't decorate it to be just like that room but obviously you can see that different types of furniture go well together and you can kind of see that color schemes kind of make the room pop a little bit obviously the wood and the white they go really great together these nice little structural beams that i put just makes the room pop a little bit more so obviously taking an image and making the image look so much like making the the room look so much like the image is going to be amazing no, obviously we're no. Obviously, I'm just gonna just search up different um images that we can put. Like maybe like this would go good. Yeah. So basically, this is the room that we have come up with, and you can obviously do so much more with this room by adding in different decorations, like um maybe more bookshelves, kind of connecting these a little bit more than I did. Um, you can do different types of like you know window outings and stuff like that obviously the outside's just gonna look so terrible because we're not gonna do any of that but obviously this looks super nice now one of the things you can also do is you can also add more than what you did in an image so if we do decorate we just hit curtains right here if we do curtains we can kind of add um let's say let's add plate curtains kind of make it look more rustic at the house kind of be like so and obviously you can see that brings so much to the place you can add so much more that we do decorate and we do lighting more lighting um yeah you can add a floor lamp so if we do a lamp a floor lamp there which will night look nice um what else what else could we do to this place you know we can do a table here you can put different stuff on there and you can see that it kind of comes together just a little bit so decorate all um actually let's take this plant right here put a plant there um decorate decorations um surface decor but like books there too kind of just kind of just play around a little bit and you can see that this place looks amazing and this looks so cool i love this and obviously we're gonna have to color the ceiling the quill gray kind of line up with the wall and there we have it we have a nice cool looking living room kind of space and you can tell your friends that you built this you decorated it by yourself and they will be in awe now you can just jam pack this with different items like adding more lamps adding more um items around here but this is the bare minimum and it looks so amazing with just having the bare minimum now obviously um you want to go with the color schemes as well with all these so we kind of have browns mid-tones everywhere so just kind of bringing in some of those mid-tones around here like so um we're gonna bring in this brown um, let's let's bring this as a darker brown and we can do wood for that vase and let's bring in that white bit for this and there you have it you have your nice little mid-tones and obviously this one we're going to want to do a nice brown color too because it's more brown you have a nice little room for your friends to enjoy and you have a nice little living room that you can use obviously you can do more beams more 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 decorations in here but this is the bare minimum and i think it looks amazing if you guys want to see more, more videos just like this one um like subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload whenever i post them also i have a discord server and i notify you about uploads there too and i chat in there every single day so go ahead and join that so you uh, just kind of interact with the community and everyone and also only 94 percent of you are not subscribed if you're watching this video so please like subscribe and share the video so you can see more videos just like this one you can obviously see the upgrade of the rooms so right here we have this nice rustic living room it's a bigger space 
adds more you can see that it just thought up a little bit more and then you have this nice little kind of cozy living room area a little bit with the with those walls and stuff actually this wall texture looks really nice so you can kind of just see all of this right here and i think this looks amazing and you guys should definitely go ahead and check out the other video that i did of this which you can see a little bit more in depth about the, what, of what i'm talking about so i want to thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you guys um did enjoy i encourage you to come back for more so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye